now we record. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Jesus fucking Christ, I really need to move out and get my own recording studio or like an office because I am sick of coming in here every day and almost bonking my head on this wood and being surrounded by all these tools. Like, what the fuck is this? What? Like, is this a taser? I'm, this is not a fucking. <laughs> Yo guys, what is up? It is Derek here once again from BGAK Derek and in today's video we're gonna be talking about Facebook I'm not doing this again I And we're gonna be talking about Facebook now I don't know about you guys, but I added a lot of people on Facebook throughout my years in high school and elementary school that I really didn't give two shits about not even I I didn't even give one shit about them. And I recently deleted around 200 people off my Facebook that I just did. I honestly didn't care about anything they were posting, anything they're doing in their life, and not to be rude, just anything about them in general. And it was really awkward because about four of those people who I deleted tried to re-add me, and one of them even messaged me saying, Derek, why did you delete me? And I didn't even know who this person was. It was a person I deleted that I had added that I have no clue who they are. And then they're just like, Derek, why did you delete me? I deleted you because I don't know who you are. Who are you? <laughs> but people on Facebook make some of the most annoying status updates I have ever seen in my life. And I'm going to tell you guys some of the most annoying ones that I have ever seen. So we all know that one person on Facebook or Twitter or even Instagram who is super fucking obsessed with their boyfriend or girlfriend. Anytime this person is with their boyfriend or girlfriend, they just need, they got to let everybody know that they're with them. They'll post a status update. They'll post a picture. Or they'll post the most annoying videos on the history of the planet. Babe, 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 smile, smile, smile for the camera. Babe, smile, smile. Hey, I'm having fun with my boyfriend. Hee hee hee, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We understand you guys are madly in love and all that stupid shit, but we don't we don't need to see it every fucking day, okay? Okay? Thank you. Thank <laughs> Thank you. All right, so the next person we always see on Facebook is the person that when someone passes away or one of their pets passes away, they decide to write a fucking essay on their Facebook status. Fuck. How am I going to say this without sounding like the biggest douchebag that ever fucking lived on the planet? Like I I understand that letting people know about someone's passing or a pet's passing can help a lot when like talking to that person the next time. Maybe if you just write a status on Facebook, most people will see it. But you don't need to write an S- I like- Oh my god, I sound like such a douche. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know, I just feel like if someone passes away, it's really important for you to- Fuck, I- you know what? I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and not even talk about this anymore because I'm gonna look like the biggest tool who who is literally surrounded by tools on the planet. So I'm just gonna. Now this next one is probably my le my biggest pet peeve ever. Like it's so. Oh, this pisses me off so much. Now people may have heard of subtweeting. People do this all the time on Facebook and Twitter when they put a status update about someone without actually saying their name. These statuses can range from someone saying, Oh my fucking god, how dare you do that to me? I'm gonna get you back, bitch! Or, You fucked my brother and my dad? I'm gonna get you back, slut! I really hope no one's ever actually seen that status because that would be so messed up in so many different ways. And another thing that's terrible is when someone puts a status saying like, Oh my god, today is just the worst day ever. So this is what I do when someone writes a status like this. If someone ever writes a status saying, Oh my god, today has just been the worst day ever. I can't believe that actually just happened to me. Oh my god, hashtag depressed, hashtag sad, hashtag I'm a fucking loser who put the status up so fuck me in the asshole. <laughs> but if someone ever writes a status saying, oh my god, I can't believe this happened to me, oh my god, I always leave a comment saying, oh no, what happened? And the response I get is always, um, I, I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? Don't put a status up about it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to talk about something, or you don't want anyone to know about something, don't put a status on Facebook about it so that everyone will know 
and be like, hmm, I wonder what's wrong with that person. I may actually care about them. Then you ask them what happened, they're like, uh, uh, I actually, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Another thing about Facebook is birthdays. Now, everyone on Facebook has their birthday, and when it's one of your friend's birthdays on Facebook, you usually get a notification on your timeline saying, hey, it's this person's birthday. Why don't you go wish them a happy birthday? And then that person will literally get like 900 posts on their wall from people they hardly, like, they have probably said two words to them saying, oh my god, happy birthday. I hope you have the best day ever. You're such a good friend. We gotta hang out soon. I completely stopped saying happy birthday on people's Facebook walls because it literally means nothing it can be nice to get a post from somebody who used to be your friend and now they just kind of saw that it was your birthday so hey they're gonna write on your facebook wall but i literally used to get like 70 notifications from people i had, i didn't even know who they were and they were writing happy birthday to, on my facebook wall if you guys want to actually wish someone a happy birthday a way nicer way of doing it would be to fucking call them to actually go to their house and say happy birthday maybe take them to dinner just if you have someone who is a real friend of yours and you actually want to make them feel good, take them out, call them, or actually talk to them face to face. Because saying happy birthday on someone's Facebook wall, it fuck, it's basically like saying, you know what, I am too lazy to actually do anything, so fuck you. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video whatsoever or you can relate to it whatsoever, be sure to boom, hit that like button down below. Yeah! want to be in the end slate for my next video all you have to do is make a video of yourself talking to a camera about Facebook tell me do you agree with me about these annoying statuses do you ever do these annoying statuses or anything like that and then just make the title of that video response to VGAK Derek and I will pick one of you guys to be in the end slate for my next video thank you to the random commenter of the day <laughs> If you guys want to be the random commenter of the day in my next video, all you gotta do is leave a comment down below answering the question of the day, which is, what is your favorite social media platform? Is it YouTube? Is it Facebook? Is it Twitter? Is it Instagram? Is it Tumblr? Whatever it is, mine definitely, of course, is YouTube. And I can think I can say it for all of us that most of our favorite social media is YouTube. YouTube is probably the best thing that has ever I've ever seen come out of the internet. I just fucking love it. Love it! And lastly, if this is the first video you have ever seen from me and you want to become an honorary member of the VGA community, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button down below. You'll be notified of when I'm uploading my next video and you'll just be a super cool and awesome person. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye. Hey, I'm in the band. Would it be so hard?